Each year, we're seeing the race for autonomous vehicles become closer and closer, as companies vie to introduce the next big thing to market. Even for companies that aren't trying to introduce autonomous trucks to their fleets, they have other innovative dynamics and technologies at their disposal that's sure to wow audiences and customers alike. That being said, we've rounded up the 10 most amazing advanced trucks in the world right now. Volvo Vera Volvo Trucks, the manufacturing arm of Volvo Group, has developed a self-driving, battery electric, tractor-like unit it calls Vera. Vera is low and sleek, has no space for a driver, and hooks up to a trailer using a fifth wheel and a kingpin. It's intended to pull freight in ports, factory areas, and large logistics centers where high-volume loads are highly repetitive and cover short distances, but additional uses are possible. The autonomous electric vehicle is linked to a cloud service and a transport control center and equipped with sophisticated systems for autonomous driving. They are designed to locate their current position to within centimeters, monitor in detail and analyze what's happening with other road users, such as at intersections, and then respond with high accuracy. In collaboration with ferry and logistics company DFDS, Vera will begin transporting goods between a logistics center and a port terminal in Gothenburg, Sweden. Einride's Pod Einride, the Swedish autonomous trucking startup, unveiled a new vehicle type that the company hopes to have on the road delivering freight starting in 2021. This series of autonomous electric transport vehicles, ranging from AET-1 to AET-4, has been designed and developed for SAE Level 4 self-driving. Einride called the pod an environmentally and health-friendly alternative to diesel-powered trucks. Equipped with cameras, lidars, and radars, it has 360-degree awareness of its surroundings, removing the need for a driver and resulting in no blind spots. With this technology, the pods can operate independently, do not require platooning, and can pull into and connect to charging stations along the routes on their own. The pod will be available on a subscription basis. The subscription fees per month will range from $18,000 for the AET-1 to $22,000 for the AET-4. Einride has said that its AETs can help reduce fuel and energy costs by up to 70%, cut operating costs by up to 60%, and increase productivity by 200%. Scania AXL Scania, the Swedish truck manufacturer formerly associated with Saab, developed an experimental autonomous model named AXL. The AXL was designed to work in mines and construction sites. That offers the advantage of a much more controlled environment away from the chaos of public roads. The Scania AXL is steered and monitored by an intelligent control environment where, in mines, the autonomous operations are facilitated by a logistic system that tells the vehicle how it should perform. The front module of the machine is equipped with cameras, radar, LIDAR, and GPS receivers to generate a common view of the vehicle's immediate surroundings. Besides, the combustion engine that powers the concept vehicle is powered by renewable biofuel. Scania has been testing prototypes of the autonomous truck in conjunction with Rio Tinto since August 2018 in an Australian mine. Mercedes-Benz Gen H2 Mercedes' parent company, Daimler, unveiled an all-new Mercedes-Benz Gen H2 hydrogen fuel cell concept truck, which is envisioned for flexible and demanding long-haul transport. It uses hydrogen to create electricity via a fuel cell stack, which then powers an electric drive system. Designed to have capabilities similar to the Actos long-haul truck, the Gen H2 concept has a gross vehicle weight of 40 tons and a payload capacity of 25 tons. More importantly, it has two liquid hydrogen tanks, which each have a storage capacity of 88 pounds, or 40 kilograms. The key takeaway is that the Gen H2 will be eco-friendly and have a range of approximately 621 miles, or 1,000 kilometers, on a single tank of hydrogen. This should make it ideal for long-haul operations. The trucks will roll out first in Europe by 2023. However, Daimler's ambitious goal is to offer only zero emissions CO2-neutral trucks in Europe, North America, and Japan by 2039. Hyundai HDC6 Neptune 
Hyundai debuted the HDC6 Neptune concept at the 2019 North American Commercial Vehicle Show. The HDC6 Neptune concept Class 8 Heavy Duty Truck was inspired by the Steamliner train with an Art Deco industrial design. It comes equipped with hydrogen fuel cells, a perfect fit for heavy-duty trucks and long driving distances due to higher drive range, higher payload, less refueling time and ultimately lower costs. Its HT Nitro Thermo Tex carbon footprint is up to 90% less than a traditional trailer and will be one of the first North American trailers to use a cryogenic nitrogen refrigeration technology system. The trailer has been optimized to transport cold chain goods. Maximum cooling power is always available, even after the truck's engine is turned off, via an intelligent control system and an independent cooling power. The name Neptune honors the Roman god of the seas. The sea, after all, could be the world's largest source of potential hydrogen fuel. Nikola 2 The Nikola 2 is a Class 8 hydrogen electric truck with up to 1,000 horsepower and 2,000 foot-pound or 2,700 newton meter of torque, nearly double the horsepower of any semi-truck on the road. The Nikola 2 has a range of 500 to 750 miles or 800 to 1,200 kilometers and zero tailpipe emissions. The design of the truck and its expected range make it suited for daily deliveries in a single geographic area. The Nikola 2 features a new infotainment system based on Nikola's proprietary operating system that integrates infotainment and navigation functions, as well as controls for the bulk of the vehicle's functionalities. The system's features include climate control, mirror adjustment, suspension height adjustment, 360-degree camera system, navigation, Bluetooth audio system, comprehensive vehicle settings, and admin vehicle diagnostics. The Nikola 2 will be on roads by the end of 2021 with a price tag of $268,782, and the costs of running it are 20% to 30% lesser than running a diesel truck. Walmart Advanced Vehicle Experience Walmart Advanced Vehicle Experience, or WAVE, is the wild-looking turbine hybrid semi-truck. Developed with the help of Peterbilt and Capstone Turbine, the Wave looks positively badass and almost alien, with its tapered nose, angry bird headlamps, and black front mask that encompasses the floor-to-ceiling windshield and the sunroof. Powering this amazing creature is a prototype turbine-powered range-extending series hybrid powertrain. According to a statement from Walmart CEO Doug McMillan, it can run on diesel fuel, natural gas, biodiesel, and probably other fuels still to be developed. The WAVE project is part of Walmart's efforts to green up its fleet operations and move toward using 100% renewable energy. Innovative Autonomous Haulage Vehicle Innovative Autonomous Haulage Vehicle, or AHS, is a self-driving, 2,700-horsepower dump truck manufactured by Komatsu Limited. This vehicle is exclusively an unmanned vehicle designed to maximize the advantages of unmanned operation. Komatsu AHS is used for four mining applications – oil sands, copper, iron, and coal. The development of Komatsu's self-driving truck is primarily aimed to increase productivity at mines or similar environments. Aside from the technology that allows for unmanned operation, it's outfitted with features that enable the vehicle to traverse challenging terrain, such as slippery ground due to rain or snow. The vehicle can purportedly drive the same speeds and maneuver the same regardless of the direction it's taking. ETF Mining Trucks The Slovenian truck company ETF Mining has built the world's largest mining truck with a load capacity of 760 tons, built on an innovative modular scheme. The modular designed vehicles bring components that can be removed from the vehicle for maintenance and repairs without bringing the entire truck to the shop. Wheels, batteries, and the cabin can be switched out in 15 minutes, and entire axle groups can be changed in 25 minutes. Equipped with the ETF Central Tire Inflation System, which actively monitors and adjusts the height of each wheel to counteract bumps in the road. If a tire suddenly deflates, the system automatically alerts the driver and raises the wheel to allow the driver to continue. Along with ETF stability and traction features, all trucks have sleep deterrent system, 
collision avoidance system, five cameras, five dual range radars, and two velocity radars, enhanced lighting, enhanced ergonomics, and HVAC system. ETF mining trucks also feature a heavy duty rechargeable lithium ion D5 battery system, creates no emissions, has very low noise levels, and requires far less maintenance than a conventional diesel powered vehicle. Tesla Semi Tesla Semi is a heavy duty all electric semi truck developed by Tesla, an American electric vehicle and clean energy company. The company initially announced that the truck would have a 500 miles range on a full charge, and with its new batteries, it would be able to run for 400 miles after an 80% charge in 30 minutes using a solar powered Tesla Mega Charger charging station. Tesla CEO Elon Musk said that the semi would come standard with Tesla Autopilot that allows semi autonomous driving on highways. Tesla says on its website that it expects the standard semi to start at around $150,000 and the Founders Series version to cost around $200,000. Elon Musk claims the truck's drag coefficient of 0.36 gives better aerodynamics than a $2 million Bugatti Chiron supercar. What are your thoughts on these advanced trucks? Which one do you think is the most advanced? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notifications so you never miss a single one of our countdown videos.